All right, we're live, finally. Had to install the update of this, then update for OBS. Uh, my screen capture is all messed up, so craziness. All right, so we're going to be cracking some packs today. Let's get stuck into it. All right, we're live. Okay, so this was the pre-order. So what do we have here? We get a Liliana Dreadhorde General. I'm guessing that's what this is. All right, Your that's pretty cool. Will make an excellent minion. <laughs> okay, so what is this? Liliana Dreadhorde General, six loyalty, six mana. Whenever you're creature you control dies draw a card plus one credit two two black zombie creature token minus four each player sacks two creatures and minus nine each opponent chooses a permanent they control of each permanent type and sacrifices the rest all right and what is this oh that's just the card backs all right so let's claim this and start cracking packs here you mad, bro. I don't think they have any rat colonies here. Okay, who do we have in the stream? A whole bunch of people. Slacker01, welcome. Ben, MTG, legit human. You mad, bro. Tragic the Garnering, welcome, sir. Tony Santalan. He just cracked all his 50 packs. Okay, so what do we got here? Summit Sprint. Okay, Loxodon Sergeant. And apparently you don't get Planeswalkers in every pack in here, which is a little annoying, but only in the paper version. Okay, nothing too exciting. Got a wild card, Bolt Band. What is this? This could be good in a red deck. Okay, changing targets. A Celeste cast, fair enough. And oh, ho, 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 a mythic! Nice! God Eternal Oketra. 3 6 for 5 mana. Zombie God from Armand Kit. Double straight whenever you cast a creature spell. Create a 4 4 black zombie creature warrior. Token with vigilance. Fantastic when it dies or is put into it. So from the battlefield, you may put it into its owner's library. Third from the top. So. A bunch of these god eternals they just keep bouncing back as long as you can get them onto the battlefield they can keep coming back hard to get rid of and dex out says we need some goblin planeswalkers yes where are the goblin planeswalkers i feel ripped off who else we got donald winninger elijah the epic mike craig Alright, quite a crowd forming here. Alright, let's move on to the next pack. So we got our chicken dinner in the first pack. Okay, mana fixing, pumping creatures. Okay, trusted Pegasus. Oh, Gideon. <clears throat> that reminds me, I got the War of the Spark hardcover book came in today so I'm looking forward to reading that getting more about the law so Kaya's goose form okay returning creatures gleaming overseer zombie tokens you control have hex proof and menace nice all right what do we get Another mythic finale of revelation sorcery for X and two blue draw X cards if X is ten or more instead shuffle your graveyard into your library draw X cards on top up to five lands you have no maximum hand size for the rest of the game nice X off finale of revelation oh this is going to be abused horribly oh got another wild cut there. Has Mina's transmutation. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. Depower the creatures. First strike, okay. Amass one. That's the new mechanic. Proliferate, alright. 
Can't be counter counter target non creature spell. Nice. Domri's ambush. Okay, that could be useful. And a rare wild card. Nothing too exciting there. Okay, what do we got? Soren's thirst. Life gain, damage, life gain. Mass 2. Some cool artwork in this set. Counter target creature or planeswalker. Exile it. Alright. Rubble Belt Rioters. That is pretty cool. Bond of Revival. Return target creature card from graveyard to that field. Okay. And enter the God Eternals. What on earth is this? Sorcery for five deals four damage to target creature and you gain life equal to the damage dealt this way. Okay. Target player puts the top four cards of their library into their graveyard. A mass four. Okay. A little bit of milling there. And a mass is the uh, creating the zombie army, isn't it? Here we are. Put four plus one plus one counters on an army you control. If you don't control one, create a zero zero black. Zombie army creature token first. Alright. Cool. Blind Blast. Okay. Lazatep Reaver, that's cool. A mass one. Ward scale croc! You'll bite your arm off. There we go. There's another one I can uh, make a horribly... Uh, Terrible impression of the croc hunter. Pouncing lynx. Alright. Card draw. Okay, use that with Liliana. Cool. Oh, first planeswalker here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Arlen, voice of the pack. Legendary planeswalker Arlen. Six. Each creature you control is a wolf or werewolf. Enters battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it. Alright. Minus two. Create a two two green wolf creature token. This is going to take some getting used to. All of these uh, planeswalkers. Okay. The Elder Spell. What is this? Sorcery for two. Destroy any number of target planeswalkers. Choose a planeswalker you control. Put two loyalty counters on it for each planeswalker destroyed this way. Okay, so you'd hopefully destroy a bunch and pump up your own. That's pretty cool. Another wild card. Pumping creatures when they attack. Scry four. Proliferate. Leviathan, that's pretty cool. Death touch. You draw a card, you lose a life. Who's doing the uh, pre-release this weekend? Can't wait. Chandra's Triumph. What's this? Deals 3 damage to target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. Deals 5 damage instead if you control a pla Chandra planeswalker. Nice. And a wild card. Okay, moving right along. Iron Bully. Vivian's Grizzly. This reminds me, what is it, like a Green Lantern type thing, creating uh, these illusionary creatures. So look at the top card of your library if it's a creature of Planeswalker, reveal it, put it into your hand if you don't. Put the card in your hand, put it on the bottom. Alright. Turret Ogre. Okay. Prismite. Ugin's Conjurant. Prevent that damage. Okay, so you can just use it as a storage for counters, I guess. And a Bio Essence Hydra. 4 4 for 5 with Trample. Enter Spatterfield with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it for each loyalty counter on Planeswalkers you control. That could get out of control pretty quick. Whenever one or more loyalty counters are put on Planeswalkers, you control put that many plus one plus one counters on Bio Essence Hydra. Craziness. Okay, I like the look of that one. 
Ah, the Goblin Assailant Creature Goblin Warrior. Two, two for two. No abilities, but it's a goblin. I think it's our first goblin of the pack so far. Invading Manticore. Okay. Spider. Pouncing Lynx. Yaya, or Yaya, how do you pronounce that? Venerated Fire Mage. Okay, so five loyalty for five. If another red source you control would deal damage to permanent or player, does that much damage plus one instead? Good, I like the sound of this. I'm fond of the red aggro decks. Deals two damage to any target for minus two. Alright, Dread Horde Twins. Weren't there some Jackal Twins in Almond Cat? I guess it's the same ones. Zombie tokens you control of Trample. Mass 2. Alright. Oh, Finale of Revelation. So we had one of those already. That's pretty cool. Okay, Bought Giant. Saw that one already. Stealth Mission. Pumping Creatures. Spellkeeper Weird. So we've got Weirds back. What is this guy? Suck him, return target, instant or sorcery card. Alright. Saw that one before. Dread Malkin. Zombie Cat. Zombie Cat Tribal is going to be a thing. It has Menace. Pay two and a black. Suck another creature. Planeswalker. Put two plus one plus one counters on it. Alrighty. And it's Krenko, Tin Street Kingpin. Legendary Creature Goblin 1-2 for 3 mana. Fantastic. Well, you, you just know I'm going to be gathering more things for the Goblin album. We're going to have to do an update on that. A whole pile of new Goblins. So what does this dude do? Whenever he attacks, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Then create a number of 1-1 one, one red Goblin Creature Tokens equal to Krenko's power. Okay. Very nice. Okay, return to nature. Okay, nothing too exciting. To fairy's time twist. What? Instant for two. Exile target permanent. You control. An update is available. Well, that is timely. Return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. If it enters the battlefield as a creature, it enters with additional plus one plus one counter on it. Okay, so you bounce something off and then bring it back. So if somebody's threatening one of your guys, you can bring it back again. Enters as a creature, gets pumped up. Seems cool. Proliferate. Okay. The Wanderer. Very mysterious. Five loyalty for four. Four mana, prevent all non-combat damage that would be dealt to you and other permanents you control. Minus two XL target creature with power four or greater. Okay, seems good. Kaya, Bane of the, Bane of the Dead. Seven loyalty for six. Your opponent's permanents you opponent's control with hexproof can be the target of spells and abilities you control as though they didn't have hexproof. Nice. And a god eternal Bontu. Fantastic legendary creature zombie god. 5-6 for 5 mana. I'm going to have to be collecting all these guys. These are just so cool. When it enters battlefield, sack any number of other permanents. Then draw that many cards. And when it dies, it's put into XL from the battlefield. You may put it into its owner's library third from the top. Okay, another one of those where if it leaves the battlefield, you can uh, get a chance at getting it back again. All right. Except if somebody tries to mill you. So that could be a thing. So we're down, what, 11 packs. We've got an Avon Eternal. All right. This guy again. Primordial Worm. Sky Theater Strix. Okay, Angrath's Rampage. Choose one. Target player, sex artifact, creature, or planeswalker. Seems good. 
in the Rakdos colors, of course. And we saw that one already. What do we got here? Dreadhorde Arcanist. Creature Zombie Wizard. 1 3 for 2. As Trample, whenever it attacks, you may cast Target Instant or Sorcery card with Command Mana Cost less than or equal to Dreadhorde Arcanist Power from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. If that card will be put into graveyard this turn, exile it instead. Alright. Okay, Grim Initiate. 1 1, okay. Shriek Diver gains haste. Callous Dismissal. There's the croc again! Fantastic! Can't be blocked by creatures with power 4 or greater. Rally of wings, untap all creatures. Ooh, this looks like a nice trick for um, pre release. If you can get one of those, do a lot of damage. I battled with the forces of good. Oh, cool. Khan, the great creator. Five loyalty for four mana. Activated abilities of artifacts your opponent's control can't be activated. Okay, plus one to your next turn. Up to one target non creature artifact becomes an artifact creature with power and toughness each equal to its converted mana cost. So I wonder if there's some pretty beefy artifacts here for the casting costs. That could be cool. Minus two, choose an artifact card you own from outside the game or in Excel, reveal that card and put it into your hand. Hmm, some intriguing possibilities there. Okay. I can hear the brewer's minds going into overdrive with all the possibilities with this stuff. Tapping creatures. There's the croc again. Naga Eternal. And here is Stone Blades. All right. Spark Harvest. Challenger Troll. What the heck? 6 5 for 5. Each creature you control with power 4 or greater can't be blocked by more than one creature. Ah, so if you have some big dudes there, that would come in handy. Ajani's Pride, mate. This was interesting. I believe this print, I saw it in one of the Challenger decks. So I think they're trying to future-proof the Challenger decks a little, with the artwork at least. So that's pretty cool. And the rare! Ho oh, ho! Another one! Fantastic! So we got the one for buying the packs, and then an extra one. I'm going to have to do something with this. Put together a black zombie deck or something. Just too cool. All right, next. What do we got here? Type of giant. Another giant. No escape. Counter target creature or plans or spell. If that spell is counted as by exile, it instead of putting it into its owner's graveyard. Okay. Taratoga. Deals two damage. Oh, when he enters the battlefield. Oh, that could do a lot of damage. Makeshift metal Battalion. Okay, saw that one, saw that one. And the rare is Casualties of War. So a bit of a Golgari smorgasbord. Choose one or more. Destroy target artifact, creature, enchantment, land, planeswalker. They've covered all the bases, haven't they? All right. So we saw that guy before, and that one, and that one. Unlikely aid! <laughs> Most badass card of the lot. You've got a certain figure on here, I won't spoil it, but yeah, riding another major character. That's a cool moment. W Shadow Fugue. Discard cards, lose two life. Gideon's Triumph. Target opponent sacks a creature that attack to block this turn. If you control Gideon Planeswalker, they sack two instead. Alright, good. 
Lux Channeler, Proliferate. Oh, a Johnny! There he is! A Johnny the Great Hearted. Legendary Planeswalker, a Johnny. Five loyalty for four mana. Crits to control have vigilance. It's plus one. You gain three life. Minus two. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each crits you control. And a loyalty counter on each other Planeswalker you control. Okay, so pumping up loyalties is a thing. And Tragic House, what kind of pack blessing I use for these? It looks like it's working. So I, I channeled my um, pop Funko Pops that I handled today into the mouse and waved it around like so. And I think it's working quite well, as you can see. Pulling lots of Planeswalkers, who would have thought? Okay, greeting of Nixilus's cruelty. Okay, he's back again. You just know we're gonna have to do a planeswalker hunt, I think. Get a planeswalker album and just go hunting for one of every planeswalker. So we wanna get 36 planeswalkers. I think that's gonna have to be a thing. Yeah, that's true. I, I missed that as well. Unlikely Aid should have had the flavor text. Why did they get rid of it? It's pretty sad. Honor the God Pharaoh. Okay. Tayo's Light Shield. Pumping Creatures. Alright. Zhang Yangu, Wild Crafter. This was from the um, Global series, which I never picked up. Didn't look terribly exciting. Each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter it has tap add one mana of any color. Minus one put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. Okay, so you can use them for mana, that's pretty cool. So here Whenever you cast non creature spell, create a one one color servo artifact creature token. Minus two, target artifact you control becomes a copy of another target artifact you control until end of turn, except it's an artifact in addition to its other types. This is going to be tough to... Uh, like, standard is going to be the Wild West again. They're going to... I know every new set mixes things up, but I think this one will do it more than most. We've got a Jace here, Spark Double, zero, 0 for 4, Creature Illusion, you may have Spark Double, Enter the Battlefield as a copy of a creature or planeswalker you control, except it enters with an additional plus 1, plus 1 counter on it, if it's a creature, an additional loyalty counter, and it isn't legendary if that permanent is legendary. So this is probably going to be abused horribly in the blue decks. Seems good. Those control players are cheering. Goblin Assailant! There he is. And I bet he has some cool flavor text, which they completely left off here. And I can't crack packs yet, because I don't have any. I'm going to have to wait till the weekend. Crunch Wrangler. Whenever a creature with power 4 or greater and spell for under your control, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Crunch Wrangler. Aid the Fallen. Turn from graveyard to hand. Alright. Augur of Bolus. Isn't this a reprint? When it enters the battlefield, look at the top three cards of your library. You may reveal an instant or sorcery card from among them. Put them into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Okay, good. Bond of Passion. Gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap it. Gains haste. <laughs> turn it against him. That's pretty cool. Deals two damage to any other target. And commence the end game. This spell can't be counted instant for six. Draw two cards, then amass X, where X is the number of cards in your hand. Combo that with the you have no maximum hand size for the rest of the game card and you can do some evil things. You could basically trade it for a huge creature. Yeah, keep drawing cards. That sounds fantastic. 
Oh, Lee Duke says they put the flavor text off to the side if it's a lot of text. I need to pay attention to that then, don't I? Couple of things. What's this? Taller the invasion. Pick something from their hand. They discard that card. Charmed Stray, Cat Tribal, Life Link. When it enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on each other creature you control named Charmed Stray. There's something peculiar about the cats today. Okay. So they're missing some text. We need it to say you can have an unlimited number of these guys in your deck. Alas, that's not possible. Casualties of War, already saw it. Moving right along. So we had a look at that one. And the Croc! And the Grizzly band together. Two target creatures to control each two damage equal to their power to another target creature. Nice. Card discard. Ooh, Planeswalker of Nixless the Hate Twisted. Five loyalty for five mana. Whenever an opponent draws a card, of Nixless Hate Twisted deals one damage to that player. So you'd want to have that in your deck against the uh, the guy with the. Let's see here. Yeah, with the lots of card draw. Eternal Skylord, zombie tokens you control have flying, nice. And a Soul Diviner. Remove a counter from an artifact creature land or planeswalker you control, draw a card, okay. Two, three for two. And does that also, that applies to loyalty abilities or, so if they enter with a certain number of um, loyalty counters I would guess you could subtract them and Get some card draw that way. Correct me if I'm wrong. Alright. Seen the ogre already. Goblin Assault Team! Creature Goblin Warrior for four. Nice. 4-1 four, has haste. When it dies, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature control. And here's the flavor text. Thank you for reminding me, Lou Dukes. Under the veneer of the various guilds, each goblin has the same basic need to run screaming at the enemy and hit a bunch of stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's me on a typical FNM, just throwing the creatures at uh, control players and having them go nope, 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 until they run out of nopes. Gideon sacrifice instant for a single white. Choose a creature or planeswalker you control. Damage that will be dealt this turn to you and permanents you control is dealt to the chosen permanent instead. Okay. So you'd want to use that against a really beefy guy. Ashiok Skulker. Can't be blocked. Okay. Rescue a Sphinx. You may return non land permanent you control to its owner's hand. If you do, enter the battlefield with an additional, or with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Alright, Flux Channeler, and there is Khan again, nice. So here's the second one. Very cool. <laughs> I just had a... Scroll through the chat there, Lou Jukes. The Wanderer is tragic the garnering as he wanders from goodwill to goodwill getting hosed. Yeah, I, I need to catch up. Like, I don't know if anyone else is subscribed to that guy. He's in the chat there, but I find myself getting hypnotized. You, you would think somebody going through thousands of cards, valuing them from like random buys would get a bit boring but I, I'm just like fascinated by this whole thing I mean I going through that many cards I don't want to even think about how long it takes you to edit those videos down to something sane holy moly but yeah definitely I need a block of time where I can just sit down and watch a bunch more videos because it's cool stuff so we saw this guy, saw that, that, that. Spell Gorge are weird. What is this? Whenever you cast a non creature spell, put a plus one plus one counter on Spell Gorge are weird. 
Okay. Paradise Druid, Hexproof, use it for mana. Okay. Bond of Insight, each player puts top four cards of the library into their graveyard, return up to two instant and or sorcery cards from your graveyard to your hand, Excel Bond of Insight. Yeah, Lou Jukes, aren't we all? He's addicted to Tragic's videos. Like, I don't know, has anybody else, I'm sure people have done that before, but you've made it into an art form, sir. Like, the, the little, the price checker on the screen and then you stop when you find something cool Jay Shing is in the house well you've missed 21 packs we're we're taking it slow here reading things and seeing what we get what juicy goodness there is unlike some other channels that have already opened 10 boxes and blaze through the uncommons and the, the rares. We don't all have that luxury, so I'm cracking virtual packs today. Legendary artifact for two. Pay X tap, discard a card, look at the top X cards of your library. You may put a creature card with command mana across X or less from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in random order. Okay. Seems decent, sort of like a scrying thing. And it, oh, it takes him a lot longer to edit than the free time he has. You might have noticed I, for my daily videos, they're normally no longer than 10 minutes, a couple are creeping up like 13 minutes. The weekend, this weekend, the four patron videos, that took me all weekend like every moment I had was filming uh, editing rendering uploading then I'd watch it again with you guys in the chat I mean it I was pleased with how it turned out got some good pulls for people but it is a ton of work okay we got to ferry time twist and Van der Photo says the CG video they made is so cool. Yeah, they make you watch it when you uh, enter the uh, game after the update. And that is just... They really pulled out no stop... Or pulled out all the stops there to pull off that one. That is fantastic. I'm just tongue-tied. I don't know what I'm saying here. Thanks for dropping by Tragic the Garnering. And if you have not watched his channel... I almost feel guilty recommending his channel because if you start watching videos on his channel you will become addicted. You, you'll just be watching for hours but it is fantastic stuff. Check it out. Okay, what do we have here? Force landing. Target creature with flying. Okay, get rid of it. Yep. Some sprint. The cat again. Everybody's favorite <laughs> Planeswalker, welcome Sir Tybalt, rakish instigator. Your opponent can't gain life, okay. Pretty useless against a lot of decks. Five loyalty for three mana. His minus two is create a one one red devilly creature token with when this creature dies it deals one damage to any target. I guess that's okay. Shing says instead of premiere, why not just do some of it live? You save the edit time and rewatch time, you still get to interact with viewers. But then I have to be like stuck there live, and there's no. It was a bit of a compromise. There's no card pricing in real time. It's sort of awkward. So I like the way the premieres work now, actually. Every story is an opportunity for new data. Really? Okay, we get a Tamiyo, Collector of Tales 5, Loyalty for 4. Spells and abilities your opponent's control can't cause you to discard cards or sacrifice permanence. Okay. Plus one, choose a non-land card name, then reveal the top four cards. You Larry put all cards with this chosen name from among them into your hand. Rest in your graveyard. Minus three, return target card from your graveyard to your hand. Okay, that's going to take some digesting here. Onward! So, what do we got? Wanderer's Strike. 
speeding up a little now. There's a bunch here that we've seen before. Giant growth. Fun new artwork on that one. D-Spark. XL target permanent with converted mana cost 4 or greater. Nastiness. And the rare is Bolus's Citadel. Legendary artifact for 6. You may look at the top card of your library anytime. Play the top card. If you cast spell this way, pay life equal to its committed mana cost rather than pay its mana cost. Ooh, that is evil. Tap, sack 10 non-land permanents. Each opponent loses 10 life. So, yeah, crank out some cheap artifacts or tokens. And then sack them and make your opponent lose life. That seems pretty good. Worm Crovod. We need to block the exits from the plaza. What's big, heavy, and available? Great thinking, Gideon. Steady aim, untapped target creature gets plus one, plus four, and gains reach until end of turn. Alright. Narset, part of Veils. Five loyalty for three mana. Each opponent can't draw more than one card each turn. Look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a non-creature and online card from among them. Put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Okay. Can't form more than one card. Seems decent. Dread Horde Invasion. Enchantment for two at the beginning of your upkeep. You lose one life for mass one. Whenever a zombie token you control with power 6 or greater attacks, it gains lifelink until end of turn. That could be good. Thanks for dropping by, Jay Shing. Leyline Prowler. Death Touch lifelink. Add one mana of any color. That'd be a good one in pre release. Okay, so we're now at the halfway point. Let's see here. Soren's Thirst deals damage, you gain life. I recognize that headdress. This one was feared even by her fellow initiates. Alright, bit of lore there from Armanket. Totally lost! Fell the thip! There you are, instant for five. At least this was better than that week at the jury review. Okay then, put target non land permanent on top of its owner's library. Got the Iron Bully, the twins. Ah, uh, this, this is a really heartwarming redemption the artwork on this one if you have followed the law you can probably guess just love this artwork here instant for four discard all cards in your hand and draw that many cards plus one you gain life equal to the number of cards in your hand fantastic who did that howard lion Great work, sir. And Narset's Reversal. Instant for two. Copy target instant or sorcery spell, then return it to its owner's hand. You may choose new targets for the copy. Okay, so we're going to be Xeroxing a bunch of spells there. Seems good. Got an Arncrop Invader. That's first strike. 2-2 two, two for three. Pay one, suck another creature, gets plus two, plus zero into end of turn. All right. Get some card draw. The Grizzly, the Crowbard, Sergeant. Firemind Vessel. So a Niv Mizzet tie in here. The city mourned Niv Mizzet's death. Spoiler. But he left behind the components for his rebirth. Enters Battlefield tapped. Tap it, add two mana of different colors. Okay, so you've got to figure out how to untap it. Well, actually, yeah, your next turn you can use it. Mayhem Devil. Whenever a player sacrifices permanent, it deals one damage to any target. 3-3 three, three for three in the Rakdos colors. Love the artwork on this guy. Despite their stake in the city's survival, Rakdos cultists are loath to pass up any opportunity to sow chaos. That sounds about right. Ravnica at War, XL, all multicolored permanents. Alrighty. Let's see here, we've got another 
wild card there. Soren's first aid the fallen. Choose one or both. Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Return target planeswalker card from your graveyard to your hand. That's going to come in real handy in black. Murder of the cause dies. Proliferate. Raging Crunch. Can't attack alone. Guess he's got to attack in a herd. Gleaming Overseer. Zombie Wizard. Enters battlefield a mess. 1 1 4 for 3. Zombie tokens you control have hexproof and menace. Alright. Finale of Eternity Mythic. Sorcery for X and 2 black. I think, uh, was it Mike, you were saying you were looking forward to seeing this one or pulling this one. Destroy up to three target creatures with toughness X or less. Nice removal. If X is 10 or more, retor return all creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. <laughs> that would be crazy. Fill your graveyard up. Late game. Bring everybody back. That seems crazy. Yeah, want to be uh, coming up with some things for that. Some nice deck brewing going on. Alright. Tamio's Epiphany. Yeah, I'm going to have to build some goblin decks as standard, I think. There's the Goblin Assailant. Okay, let's read the flavor text. What he lacks in patience, intelligence, empathy, lucidity... Hygiene, ability to follow orders, self-regard, and discernible skills he makes up for in sheer chaotic violence. Love that flavor text there. I think we saw this guy before, flying zombie wizard, paradise druid, and I know my there he is, Teferi Time Reveler. Four loyalty for three mana. Each opponent can cast spells only any time they could cast a sorcery. So get rid of their instance, basically. Plus one until your next turn you may cast sorcery spells as though they had flash. Nice. Minus three. Return up to one target artifact creature or enchantment to its owner's hand. Draw a card. Okay, so he's going to be in the Azorius decks. It's pretty good... Uh, Preventing instants. Just keep pumping him each turn. And that, yeah, that applies until they get rid of him. So he's got a target on his back right there. Okay, what do we have? A uh, Lazotep Behemoth. Zombie Hippo. <laughs> Return to nature. New Horizons. When it ends the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature control. Enchanted land as tap. Add two mana of one color. Got the invader. Rune enforcer. Tap target creature from converted mana cost two or greater. Liliana's triumph. Instant for two. Each opponent sacks a creature if you control a Liliana planeswalker. Each opponent also discards a card. I think we saw Arlen already. And the elder spell. Sorcery for two. Destroy any number of target. Planeswalkers, choose a Planeswalker you control. Put two loyalty counters on it for each Planeswalker destroyed this way. Nice. Okay. Next pack here. So, let's see. Anything new? We've got the Wolf. Charity Extractor. War or no war? Your donations are due, as always. Vampire Opportunist. I think I cracked a fang. <laughs> uh, of Nixilis the Hate Twisted. We saw him earlier. And a wild card. Okay. Mike says I'm going to have to collect this set. No kidding. This The collectib collectability of this set is off the charts. Especially when you consider those Japanese alternate art planeswalkers. Very tempted to get a Japanese box, but the value of the box, like what you pull, is going to be in the crapper because not too many people are collecting the Japanese cards. Although there is a guy at the OGS, he uh, 
is a big fan of the Korean cards, but I don't think they're doing anything special for Korean this time around. So what do we have here? Chandra's Parahelix. Arboreal Grazer with a weird beast. What the heck is that? I don't even know. I'm going to have to stare and ponder that thing for a while. Okay, what else? Taller the Invasion. We've got a Mayhem Devil. Now, is he on a, a unicycle? Is that what this is? There's a gom goblin and a unicycle. I don't even know. I'm going to have to take a closer look when we get the actual cards. Storm the Citadel. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Defending player controls. And another God Eternal Oketra Fantastic Pull. So that's the second one. We're getting a lot of two ofs. Alright. Next, what do we got here? So, of Nixilis. Courage in Crisis. Okay, nothing really new. And it's Krenko Tin Street Kingpin. Legendary Creature Goblin 1, 2 for 3. That's my second Krenko. Very cool. Another wild card. And what did people think of the wild cards in the patron videos over the weekend? I think I went a bit overboard this month. Uh, maybe I need to scale it back next month. I, I guess it will depend how many rares I can shove in the box. We'll see how that goes. Totally lost. Naga. Tyrant Scorn. I don't think we've seen this one. Instant for two. Choose one. Destroy target creature when command mana costs three or less. Return target creature to its owner's hand. Okay, and a wild card. Moving right along. Charm Stray. Blind Blast deals one damage to target creature. That creature can't block this turn. Draw a card. Okay. This guy again. Yeah, I, I'm curious to see what the brews are going to be with based around this fellow. That, I think, is going to be pretty interesting to see. Oh, we've got an Ugin the Ineffable. Fantastic. Petty Wars. Legendary Planeswalker Ugin for loyalty. He's got a lot to say, apparently. Six mana. Color spells you cast cost two less to cast. Plus one is exile the top card of your library face down. Look at it. Create a 2 2 color spirit creature token. When that token leaves the battlefield, put the exiled card into your hand. Alright, very nice. Minus three destroy target permanent. That's one or more colors. Okay, that's going to have to require some pondering on my part. And we got somebody who has apparently seen Endgame. It has not even, I don't think it's um, started here in the US yet, has it? It's not late enough. But I think they're doing the midnight showings. Could be wrong, but no spoilers. I'm probably not going to be able to see it this weekend between pre-release uh, videos. Got guests in town, so... And plus all the local theatres are pretty much sold out all weekend. So I'll have to wait a week, I think. Okay, so what do we got here? This frog dude, Crash Descent, Thundering Ceratoc. Gateway Plaza. Reprint already, okay. Was that other one in Ixalan, maybe? No, I think it was Guild's. Not sure why they would bring that back. Evolution Sage. Whenever land enters better for an under your control, proliferate. No spoilers, please. No endgame spoilers. You will be banned. Bond of Flourishing Sorcery for two. Look at the top three cards of your library. You reveal a permanent card from among them. Put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. You gain three life. 
Okay. Who are you? Oh, that's mad? cool. Sarkhan the Masterless. Legendary Planeswalker Sarkhan. Whenever a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control, each dragon you control deals one damage to that creature. Nice. Plus one until end of turn. Each planeswalker you control becomes a 4 4 red dragon creature and gains flying. I've got to do that. That sounds crazy. Minus three, create a 4 4 red dragon creature token with flying. Oh, that has some cool brewing possibilities. Fantastic. Okay, so Gideon's Sacrifice. Oh, poor Gideon, you know what? I mean, that's a bit of a spoiler, but it's right on the card, so I can't really do anything about it. Instant for a white. Choose a creature or planeswalker you control. All damage that will be dealt this turn to you, and permanence you control is dealt to the chosen permanent instead. If it's still on the battlefield. So, yeah, you need somebody to soak up all the damage. Uncrop Invader, Herald of the Dread Horde. Oh, this is a new one. Watley, the Sun's Heart, Legendary Planeswalker Watley, 7 loyalty for 3. Each creature you control assigns combat damage to, equal to its toughness rather than its power. You gain life equal to the greatest toughness among creatures you control for minus three. Okay, so life gain and damage. So swapping the power and toughness. That seems cool. DR3 Sword says I have a headache because of 3D. Yeah, I used to be a big fan of the 3D. Like I had to see all the movies in 3D and now it's like it's sort of not so much for the theater but we have a 3d tv and you you get a bit of eye pain and headaches and it's just it's probably why they discontinued the 3d tvs who we got here tomic distinguished advocist what is an advocist they're doing a creature human advisor Two, three, for two. Flying lands on battlefield and land cards in graveyards can't be the targets of spells or abilities your opponents control. Okay. Opponents can't play land cards from graveyards. So that seems like it would be a limited use, but I'm sure there are devious people wanting to get their lands back. There's probably some cards in the set to scrape those back out of the graveyard. Okay. So we've got a weird Parahelix Center Notra and Spiderfield you gain three life tap for mana, okay. Heartfire, Shriek Diver, Bond of Passion, Bleeding Edge, sorcery for three, up to one target creature gets minus two, minus two and two end of turn. A mass two and a bolus's citadel, which we've already seen. So a bunch of stuff I've I was taking it slower at the beginning, but yeah. Oh, this is some badass artwork here. Sarkhan's Catharsis. Instant for five. Deals five damage to target player or planeswalker. You once brought havoc to my home and ruined my mind. I'm here to return the favor, Bolus, with my flaming dragon hands. That is cool. Okay, what else we got here? Seen a bunch of these. Nahiri. I don't know if we saw this one. As long as it's your turn, creature you control. Have first try and quit ability to activate. Cost one less to activate. Six sorty for four. Minus X deals X damage target tapped creature. Okay. Spark double. So this was the creature copying thing and giving it an extra counter. That seems pretty good. Mike says Google doesn't know what an advocist with a K is either. Crash Descent, okay, Tamiyo's Epiphany, Scry 4, draw, two cards, Liliana's Triumph, I'm and always a step ahead. Fantastic Jace Wilder of Mysteries, and incidentally the Chaos Mystery Boxes for the patrons for the month of May have the Jace theme. 
So that is going to be cool. I think this is a reprint actually of an older card. Four loyalty for four mana. If you draw a card while your library has no cards in it, you win the game instead. Actually, no, this is the new one, isn't it? Um, so you win the game if you're tapped out. Plus one, target player puts the top two cards of the library into their graveyard. Draw a card. So some milling, minus eight. Draw seven cards. Then if your library has no cards in it, you win the game. That's going to be a fun win condition. All right, onward. So we've got a Thunder Drake. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, put a plus one plus one counter on Thunder Drake. So the time twist. Khan's Bastion. So tap for colorless mana. Pay four, tap proliferate. All right. And let's see here. We're getting down to the last few we haven't seen pollen blight druid and to if we choose one put a plus one plus one count on target creature proliferate seems good rising populace this was a fun one two two for three whenever another creature or plants what you control dies put a plus one plus one counter on rising populace it's the goblin assault team Fantastic Narset, I think we saw that already. And the rare is... Oh, ho, ho, this is a nasty one. Massacre Girl, legendary creature, human assassin. 4-4 four, four for 5 mana with Menace. When Menace Girl enters battlefield, each other creature gets minus 1, minus 1 until end of turn. And here's the kicker. Whenever a creature dies this turn... Each creature other than Massacre Girl gets minus one, minus one until end of turn. So it's like a, um, yeah, it just keeps feeding on itself, I guess, until it's wiped out a bunch of creatures. But that, yeah, it does apply to your own creatures unless you can uh, give them indestructible somehow. So maybe that's a combo, like give them indestructible, play this, do a board wipe on your opponent. They've got a lot of small tokens or whatever. Seems fantastic. Alright, Raska's Finisher. Creature Gorgon Assassin 3 2 for 3. When it enters battlefield, destroy target creature or planeswalk on opponent controls. That was dealt damage this turn. Okay, that's good. Finish him off, do a little bit of damage and take care of him. Good. Alice Dismissal, Sunblade Angel! 3-3 three, three for 6, Flying, First Strike, Vigilance and Lifelink. That's pretty cool. Oh, this one's nice. Davriel Rogue, Shadow Mage, 3 loyalty for 3. Beginning of each opponent's upkeep for that player has one or fewer cards in hand. Davriel Rogue's Shadow Mage deals 2 damage to them. So make them toss their cards and then <laughs> make them uh, get pinged every turn that's pretty cool minus one of course target player discards a card and where is solar blaze sorcery for four each creature deals damage to itself equal to its power nice we got this weird monkey sloth dude Courage in Crisis, no escape, counter target creature or planes will spell if that spell is counted this way, exile it instead of putting it into its owner's graveyard, scry one, I think we've seen the Leviathan, Merfolk Skydiver, creature Merfolk Mutant 1-1 one, one for 2 is flying, when it enters the battlefield put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on target creature control, for 3 a green and blue proliferate, alright, whoa! Did you hear that sound effect? How are your eardrums? If you are wearing headphones like I am, Rolesque Apex Hybrid Mythic. Legendary creature, human mutant. 4-5 for 5 mana with flying trample. When it enters the battlefield, put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on another target creature you control. Nice. And when it dies, proliferate, then proliferate again. That is going to be a sought-after card. 
Jason came back for more mind rot. Well, that is the whole purpose of this channel, is it not? To rot your mind. I've warned people often enough, but they keep coming back. The subscriber total keeps going up. Sooner or later, I expect it to go down, but for, for the time being, at least people are happy to rot their minds, I guess. Especially now there's a new set here to rot your mind. Okay, so this is a very spicy pool. Let's move on to the next pack. Got the Grizzly, the Thirst, the Druid, the Badass. Uh, <laughs> here we are. Okay, so this was the flavor text. No one will ever ride me again, Gideon. Expect no further favors. Rectus. <laughs> That just cracks me up. That's like the ultimate nerd joke here. And from what I've heard, this is like the sort of thing they have in Yu-Gi-Oh! That's like a regular thing. So I don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh! But that amused me. Got another Saheli and Casualties of War. Last six packs here. Mike says, I know I watched this whole thing so far. Is your mind rotted yet? I'm feeling a bit lightheaded because I have not eaten in many hours. So I'm looking forward to dinner after this. There won't be any games, alas. Crunch Wrangler. Giant. Price of Betrayal. Remove up to five counters from target. Artifact, creature, planeswalker, or opponent. That is going to be cool. The moment Liliana defied Nicole Bolas, her contract was broken and her life was forfeit. But she was free to choose her fate and she decided it was worth the price. Okay. Aishok Dream Render. Now, does anyone know if they're doing the previews? They had the, the fog here, like going to the borders of the card and through the name. Did they do that on the actual cards? Does anybody know? So this is a legendary planeswalker Ashok 5 loyalty for 3 mana. Spells and abilities your opponent's control can't cause their controllers to search their library. Minus 1 target player puts top 4 cards of the library into their graveyard. Then exile each opponent's graveyard. Nice. And a mobilized district. Tap it for colorless mana, pay 4. And it becomes a... 3-3 three, three citizen creature with vigilance until end of turn it's still a land okay it's ability cost one less to cast or one less to activate for each legendary creature and planeswalker you control all right Jay Shing says build a deck on the spot with the community I don't really have the time sir alas that will have to be for another day but there are some intriguing possibilities here. You wanna go, oh, Chandra, Fire Artisan, Legendary Planeswalker, Chandra, four loyalty for four. Whenever one or more loyalty can is removed from Chandra Fire Artisan, she does that much damage to target opponent or Planeswalker. Nice. Exile the top card of your library, you may play it this turn. Minus seven, exile the top seven cards of your library, you may play them this turn. Okay. Divine Arrow deals 4 damage to target attacking or blocking creature. Prison Realm. What's this? Enchantment for 3. When Prison Realm enters the battlefield, exile target creature or planes or component controls until Prison Realm leaves the battlefield. And when it enters the battlefield, scry 1. So you get some scrying and you can lock them up. Angrath, Captain of Chaos. Creatures you control have menace. Okay, five loyalty for four mana, minus two, amass two. Jay Shing says, ten viewers have a broken heart now because you said no. Jay Shing, I'm a heartless SOB. Sorry, the truth has come out at last. Giving my viewers mind rot and uh, Dakota Parker has entered at a fantastic time. It is going fantastically. I'm giving the viewers mind rot right now. 
So just be warned. I will protect the virtue of this world. Really, Nissa? Nissa, who shakes the world? Haven't pulled one of these yet. Five loyalty. For five mana, legendary plans work on Nissa. Whenever you tap a forest for mana, add an additional green. Plus one, put three plus one, plus one counters on up to one target non creature land you control and tap it. Comes a zero zero elemental creature with vigilance and haste. It's still a land. Okay. You get a uh, minus eight, you get an emblem with lands you control have indestructible. Search your library for any number of forest cards, put them onto the battlefield, tap, then shuffle your library. Holy moly, you can put all your green lands onto the battlefield whoa that is gonna do some damage i bet okay okay defiant strike giant i think we saw that eternal taskmaster this one had some interesting artwork two three for two they are called Eternals. They will never stop. Thanks for that bit of wisdom, Jace. Eternal Taskmaster and Battlefield tapped. Whenever Eternal Taskmaster attacks, you may pay three. If you do, turn target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Okay, so yeah, you'd want to pump him up so you can keep bringing stuff back. Alright, invade the city, mass X, where X is the number of instant sorcery cards in your graveyard. Oh, nice. And I was going to say, is that Seb McKinnon artwork? You can totally pick it just by looking at this. Deliver unto evil sorcery for three. Choose up to four target cards in your graveyard. If you control a bolus, planeswalker, return those cards to your hand. Otherwise, an opponent chooses two of them. Leave the chosen cards in your graveyard and put the rest into your hand. Exile, deliver unto evil. That is some nice flavor there. Jay Shing says, are you planning on doing any filming at your pre-release? No, because my pre-releases are normally me frantically reading cards for 45 minutes and then sleeving them up and then racing around to challenges. So... Yeah, a bit too much stress for me. I'd rather not deal with that. Maybe they have... Uh, do they have pre-release events in Arena? That could be possible. Got the Goblin Assailant. Oh, what's this? Vizier of the Scorpion. When it enters Battlefield Amass 1, zombie tokens you control have Death Touch. Oh, that is cool. Use that together with the Liliana. Crank out the zombie tokens. Very nice. Okay. And he himself did not have death touch though. Okay. But I think, wasn't there a planeswalker that gives things death touch? Watley's Raptor. Creature dinosaur has vigilance 2, 3 for 2. When it enters battlefield, proliferate and the rare. I have them all figured out. Really, Jace? Okay, so this is the second Jace we've pulled. Yeah, that would go down well, uh, Mike. I can see a walking in with a GoPro on my head. People are like, um, can you please not film in here? That'd be hilarious. Okay. Final pack. Final pack here, people, and then we'll wrap it up. Hope you've enjoyed this bit of pack cracking action. I cannot crack the paper cards yet, but I hope the virtual ones have sufficed to satisfy your appetite. So what is this? Rouse Outburst Instant for four. Do a speed damage 20 target. Look at the top two cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the other into your graveyard. Okay bit of uh, some scrying, some damage and card draw, so a bunch of stuff there. Alright, and single combat. Sorcery for five. Each player chooses a creature or plan talker they control, then sacrifices the rest. Players can't cast 
creature or planeswalker spells until the end of your next turn. Okay, so you're just uh, putting them back behind an extra turn. Except one. Okay, except one creature. And that, that also applies to yourself. So, yeah, that could backfire. Alright, so that is it. We have cracked the packs. Um, there was some code though, wasn't there? I saw a code. If I can find the code. Does anyone know what the code is for unlocking extra packs? What was that? I'll see if I can find it. Because I would like to crack a few more packs if I could. Here we are. Let's do this thing. So, uh, where do we redeem? We'll give you three bonus packs just when you thought it was over. Play. So this is the code. Play. War. Spark. Yes! Three packs! Okay, this is the bonus round, people. Let's crack these packs. Real quick here. Got a Kaya. Nothing exciting there. Next pack. Okay, we got an Angrath. I will have Rick. Oh, nice. So we got a Soren Vengeful Bloodlord. For loyalty, four mana, legendary plans will so on. As long as it's your turn, creatures and plans will you control have lifelink. Plus two, deals one damage to target player or planeswalker. Minus X, return target creature card with the converted mana cost X from your graveyard to the battlefield. That creature is a vampire in addition to its other types. Okay. Very nice. Final pack here. The final, final pack for this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I notice we don't quite have that many thumbs up, so a few more of those would be fantastic. And that's if you would like to see more unboxing videos and so forth. If not, well then, don't worry about it. Um, tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Tap that subscribe button. I'm all discombobulated now. So we've got an Enforcer Griffin, Relentless Advance. Okay, a couple of new cards. Lazatap Plating. This, I don't remember. Vresk of Swarm's Eminence. Fire loyalty for four mana. Whenever a creature you control with death touch, do damage to a player. Or plans can put a plus one, plus one counter on that creature. Okay. Oh, minus two. Create a 1-1 one, one black assassin creature token with death touch. And whenever this creature deals damage to a planeswalker, destroy that planeswalker. And Jay Shing says, thumbs down, unsubscribe, guys. Okay, so that is fine as well. But if you do that, I would expect you to never come back, alright? You've, you've gone, you've walked away. Your mind has totally rotted. You can't even anymore. You can't rot your mind any further. Single combat. Okay. I was hoping for a juicy mythic planeswalker, but I guess not. All right. That wraps it up, everybody. Thanks for watching and have a great day.